Hey there my foxy peeps. So I got you on my brand new camera. I got a light on there, new microphone, but I got a subscription box I thought I'd share with you. And this one is actually called The Attic by Blue Spider Press. Now that light is quite bright and the closer I get it, you can't see it. So hopefully you guys can see that. This is a book subscription box, so you get book thingies and, wow, they got this thing taped up where I can't even open it. There we go. Book thingies and books, and once you open it, that's what you see. Oh, they got a cute little sticker on there, and all I see is a big old ring light in my face. So getting that out of the way, this must be, oh, and this one must be like steampunk themed or something. I don't know, but like I said, that is really bright. This one says, welcome to the May 2017 Attic Box. This month's experience is curated around the subculture of steampunk. Not sure what that is. Here's how Urban Dictionary describes it. Steampunk is a subgenre of speculative fiction usually set in an anachronic, anachronistic Victorian or quizzy Victorian alternate history setting. It can be described by the slogan, what the past would like looked like if the future had happened sooner. It includes fiction with science fiction, fantasy, or horror themes. An example is The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, which I have read that, and that is a very good book. So, before I state what's inside, it comes with cardboard squigglies. So getting the cardboard squigglies out of my way. This one also pairs with a coffee sample and a tea sample. So this I believe is the tea sample in a nice little black pouchy and some cardboardy squigglies. Get the cardboardy squigglies out my way so I can see what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm like tired. So I probably sound tired. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is essential oils. Came with a little itty bitty essential oil. Oh, it's one of those essential oil uh, necklaces. Yeah, it's got a little uh, pad in there for the essential oil and then the necklace. Oh, I've wanted to try one of those. Yay, now I can. I should find one for sleep and then I can sleep, right? Yeah, I went in search of another uh, window wiper. You know how mine one day like flew off my car? Well, kind of like did like a little cartwheel type thing. Well, this, this time my brand new one actually flew off my car. So that's what the little locket looks like. Like I said, that's a really bright light. So you just pop it open. Oh, it's already got like little purple one on the inside. Because, oh, I might, yeah. I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to look at my little view screen on my camera, and I can't really tell. But I'm just going to pop that one in there so I don't lose it. Okay, so I got that. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, I see a key. It's a key. I don't know what this is, but that's cool. Like I said, all I'm seeing right now is a bunch of bright light in my face. Well, I'm going to open it up and look at the little taggy and see what it is. I like this box. It says, Captain your own airship. Unlock that strange door and then pop the top on your favorite brew. So, probably just the key that you can, like, hang, which is kind of cool because I kind of like these, like, old skeleton keys like that. More squigglies in my way. Okay. This must be the coffee. One ounce worth of coffee from Jittercrow. 
And this one's Bean, bean Me Up. Oh, I like that reference, Star Trekky. Then I see a little card thingy. It says Carte Postel. I'm thinking a little postcard. The Mad Hatter. Have I gone mad, Alice? I'm afraid so. You're entirely bonkers. But I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. Like I said, I don't know if you can really read that. Because I got a really bright light. I don't know if I can like somewhat like dim that so you can. There we go. Let's dim it a bit so you can see. There we go. I've got diffusers so I may have to use those for that. Okay. And they have it wrapped in like old newspaper. That is so cool. I don't know if you can like find a year on that or not, but I think it's like actual like old newspapery type wrapping. Okay. I don't know this book. 15 digits. But I love books, so I'll look into that one. I'm still trying to figure out where's my tea. So apparently you get either tea or coffee. And I got coffee. So that's fine. And when you get the bigger box, you get three books. So here's a little bookmark from the Blue Spider. And this one says, read you scurvy scoundrel. Like I said, dim it a wee bit, and then maybe we can read it. Maybe dim it down. Dim it like that. Dim it. I don't know if you can read, but that's what that says. And then it says, each attic box includes three secondhand novels. Yeah, this is a secondhand book, like subscription box. These aren't brand spanking new books. These are all secondhand books, so from like a used bookstore. One full pot sample of delicious coffee or tea if desired. So coffee or tea. So I said that I would, wouldn't mind either one, so. And two, three bookish treasures, often handmade. Well, this other one is a little mustache. It's cute. <laughs> I look adorbs. But second book that I got is The Born Ultim Ultimatum, which is from the um, Jason Bourne things, I think. I do believe. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's like from the Jason Bourne stuff, so. I love that movie, so I'll probably love that book. And my last little book is Storming Heaven. Now, I've never heard of this one, ever. So, my camera decided to shut off on itself. What the world? I'm gonna have to look into that so it doesn't happen again. Anyway, I found it off of Crate Joy, and it's known as the Attic Box by Blue Spider Press, which considering that I hate spiders, that I would get this book subscription, but you know, contains no spiders, so yay. But I liked everything that I got in this. I like my little diffuser for perfume or cologne type things, and I don't even know what it is. The Kugler? But I don't know. A blend of essential oils includes lemon, listia, sweet major, jorum, jorum, mandarin, geranium, and lavender. Interesting. So on the information card, it pretty much says three secondhand books not included in bookish accessories packages. So these three books are just with the attic box, not the accessories box. Coffee from Jitter Crow. And one airship captain's bottle 
opener key. Oh, that's a bottle opener. Oh, I see it now. Well, since I don't drink anything that I need to use like a bottle opener for, I'm just going to plop this on my wall, probably on my Halloween wall, probably. And it says one steampunk diffuser necklace. To use the diffuser, place a few drops of essential oil on one included cotton disc. Place inside necklace and wear. Do not use if you have sensitive skin or allergies. And one sample of the Cogler, Cogler, that's what that word was, essential oil blend and exclusive from Literary Apothecary. And bonus, one Wonderland postcard print and one mustache photo prop. So, yeah. Oh, I had it backwards. Photo prop. So that's kind of cool. I did really, really enjoy this attic box and I'm gonna get myself another one. These costs with shipping, shipping varies to where you live. That's how this box goes. So mine cost me all together with the shipping and the box was $28.95. So like, comment, or subscribe because I randomly upload videos, like very randomly. And thanks for watching. Bye!